Hey, good morning, guys. Back in my craft room. Yeah. Still got a sore throat, but I've decided I'm probably never going to get, get better until summer, so I'm just going to forget the whole thing. Uh, anyway, um, uh, going to keep this nice and short today and just show you some stuff that I did over the weekend and what's going to be going up in my shop this week. Uh, because I have to take off in a little bit here and go have um, uh, an ultrasound done again on my thyroid. So, and uh, if you missed a previous video where I think I may have mentioned it, but the DuPont company back in the 70s very thoughtfully dumped chemicals into our drinking water. How thoughtful. Anyway, the everybody who went to my school at the time and drank out of the water and fountain, we all have thyroid problems. And so I've got some really unique um, nodules that have grown onto my thyroid. Uh, there's normal nodules, and then there's the ones that are squishy and solid all at the same time, and that's not good. So those are the ones I've got. So we're tracking them and so on. And last night, it's looking pretty good today. This morning, last night, it was completely swollen out down my neck all the way around. And uh, man, was it uncomfortable. But anyway, it has a mind of its own. Uh, so what I want to show you are some stuff. Uh, if you missed it, ta-da, it's finished. Yay. And it's got a vintage button out of my grandma's um, uh, button box that I inherited when she passed on. And I still don't have it, um, I don't have this uh, woven in yet because I'm not sure exactly where I want it. I kind of like it being here where it's at because when you uh, pull it over it, it pulls just that little extra. When you put the loop over it, it pulls it just a little bit more protection just a little but when it's cold every little bit helps but anyway um i wore this when i was out uh, hiking uh not hiking but walking through the fields on um shabbos and i had it up and over my neck because it was so so it, well it was cold when i first went out but the more i walked the warmer it got so it was so nice to just be able to reach up in the back, which is my way of pulling everything down, just reach up in the back and drop the shoulders a bit, and it still stay, t stayed nicely attached through here, which when you've got it upright where it's supposed to be, you've got this covering over top of that, and it works really nicely. But anyway, so this being super chunky weight was just priceless to have. And what I did with it is I did three rows of single crochet. And it took... Oh, hold on. <sighs> Say hi, Lily. And she's, she's slowly getting better. Look at me, eyes. Yeah, she's slowly getting better. She had double pink eye. Anyways, it took all three rows to um, get the stockinette to stop rolling under. But anyway, so that was all finished. And next year I want to do another one up in uh, bulky, super bulky. And have it be wider this time. Um, much wider. And see how that goes. But anyway, your eyes do look really good today, sweetie. Good for you. Good. Okay, so the other thing I did yesterday was... Um, I made another corner-to-corner -corner dishcloth, but this time uh, using crocheting only in the back loop. And then I put, because I don't know what went wrong with the yarn. I mean, th this is the way I buy that yarn, because I use so much of the white. But I don't know what was wrong with it, but I mean, this thing had a mind of its own. I held it up, and it was like, my gosh, you're going to have to have an edging on you. So I just put... Just a simple little edge going around it. And that helped it hold its shape. Now with the Psychedelic, same yarn brand, it did perfect. I didn't have to put an edging even on it because it looks nice either way. So I just went without. And again, I did with the back loop only, which gave it that real neat textured look. 
The only downside is, and I keep checking my hands every time I touch this thing, until it's washed, um, dye is going to come off of my hands. And I really don't like that about the yarn. But, I mean, when I was finished yesterday, I posted a picture on Instagram and on Facebook because my regular Facebook page, I don't think I, I don't remember if I put it on the other one or not, but it was just insane the amount of dye I had on me from doing it. Uh, but anyways, I still love the psychedelic. I don't care how much dye you get on you. Uh, so anyway, so I did that one. Of course, I think you've all probably seen this one that I did. Now, this, this is a neat difference for those of you who may not be familiar with the uh, different st stitches. Now, this is the single crochet, and that's worked with both loops, okay? Cr corner to corner. And then you have single crochet that's worked in the back loop only. I mean, is that neat or what? One stitch, two different looks. Super cool. So anyway, um, those are all going up in my shop uh, today along with, well, not maybe today, but between today and tomorrow. And then yesterday, I also kicked back and I made a cute little pouch, um, which is really great. It's about five rows short because I ran out of, um, I ran out of, uh, yarn for it but thread basically for it uh, but anyways it's a neat little bugger that uh, ties just slip it like that it's great <coughs> for holding makeup um, dice if you're a gamer so I made one for my dice uh, dice for if you're a gamer or marbles or you know just little odds and ends to organize your purse and then you can tie it off here and so on and so forth and I've got a little fringe hanging down um, but anyway whew. so that's what I've got here on it and that's going to be going up and I'm going to do ones of, of different colors uh, but this is like a dark teal. I love the teal because it is so pretty. Uh, let me tie that just a minute. And thank you, Lily, for being a butthole. Yeah, I know. You thrive on it. Uh, so anyway, here we go. But I've got, I'm going to play around with the, uh, this on it and stuff because I don't really like the thing that was on there. But the pattern came out of a 1990. Uh, hooked on crochet magazine uh, that I ran across again when I was sorting through mom's stuff quite a while back and this is uh, gift bags is what it's called it shows you different ways that you can use it candy yeah but I mean you can do all kinds of things with that one and mom used to make them using the black sparkly thread that had like either silver running through it or gold running through it because it really made like a, a super attractive bag uh, but anyway so those things will be going up in my shop and that's it I'm gonna have to bug out and get this up and also get on with um, getting ready to head off for my appointment so anyways have a great day guys happy stitching oh and welcome to uh, the new subscribers I've got some new subscribers, and but your names haven't popped up, and they didn't even pop up uh, from any messages from um, um, YouTube. So, but anyways, welcome to the gang, and I uh, wish I could have put your name in, in my guest book because I love having the names in the in my guest book. Uh, but anyways, we'll catch you guys later. Happy stitching.